What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? If we are not covering the Trolls franchise, we are watching a horror movie. Oh, yeah. Roxy Stryer, welcome back. I think we are the first new channel in the movie. I mean, new channel in the movie. And here I was thinking I was going to make the intro more efficient than you. How what? are you? What did how you, are you say? How are you? <laughs> just you, answer the how question. How am I? I am Stay Golden Pony Boy. That, what's that from? Outsiders. Yes. I read it. I didn't see it, but it was in the book. I read literate. Oh, you're a genius. <laughs> All right. Well, today we are watching Orphan. Do you have an orphan joke? You got jokes about orphans? Yeah. Well, I'm part of the DPC and so are you, which is the Dead Parent Club. But we do have one, mm -hmm. but they're the president of the club. We're only vice president. Yeah. How are you, Greg? This is a great 2024 kickoff video. I'm really excited that we can do the DPC right at the top of this. Hey, they should leave a like on the video, shouldn't they, Roxy? Especially if they're DPC. You got to support other DPCs, DPC members. Yeah, DPCs in the comments. Subscribe, click the notification bell, get notified when Roxy has another video up on this channel she's gonna be doing so many now too many <laughs> also thank you to prepper for helping us edit down these highlights you guys rock full length throughout your watch long so you seek it with your own copy of orphan as available for super sexy rejects over at our patreon page and over there john and i cover several things exclusively with highlights and watch longs included you ready to get the fear on you didn't need notes at all no i didn't need notes <laughs> at all i've been doing this forever <laughs> you knew it all in the noggin uh, all in the noggin You're very good at this greg oh i appreciate it thanks orphan has no Successors? Success has no orphan. <laughs> Failure is an orphan, but success has many parents. That's the quote that I've been trying to think of for the last two minutes. Let's do it. We haven't watched a movie together in a long time, Roxy. Yeah, I pissed you off. Did I pee in your cereal? I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Vera for me, guy. I do know her name. Yes, let's go. Let's go. You got one. You're doing so I know him, but I don't know his name. I call him Sleepy Eyes. His name is Peter Sarsgaard. Oh, yeah. I could have gotten that by the end of the movie in the credits. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right up. Yeah. Okay. This looks like a dream. Something tells me, based off the title of this movie, <laughs> that this pregnancy is not going to go. Yeah, but how's it going to kill the dad? What the hell? What, what conclusion did you jump to? Orphan. Maybe they adopt? <laughs> hey. well, the Ugh. child's going to be born, but then it's going to be born an orphan. It kills the mom, and somehow the dad dies. I don't think that's what's going to happen. They're the stars of this movie. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Just relax. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, it is a dream. I'm so sorry for your loss. What? Your baby's dead. No, oh. it's not dead, it's alive. What a way to say that. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. The lights, creepy. No. No. Oh, the crunch sound. Oh, Greg, nope, nope. This is a dark ass opening. He's filming? Okay, honey. What are you doing? Do some tugging. This is the opening of the movie. Congratulations, Mrs. Coleman. It's a girl. Okay. Okay, so the horrors. I'm assuming she lost a baby and it's the traumas of that. No, I told you her and Peter die in the first five minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they killed off the main characters. <laughs> yep. I don't know. People also have weird dreams when they are pregnant, so maybe this is a... Premonition of sorts? Yeah. Or just a fear of what's to come? Possibly. Oh, no. Just lost a baby. Yeah. All of your guesses have been spot on today, and mine have also been equally spot on. I love the concrete style bathroom. I know. As much as they're going through some depressing ass <laughs> shit, and they're living the good life Interior financially. Design strong. <laughs> yeah. yep. Money doesn't solve all problems, but many. Man, it can certainly mask them, though. That's for sure. Station of your emotions is your body and mind's way of dealing with the stress and grief of what happened. Oh, Margot Martindale. I love her. You know that name right away. She, well, she was in Americans, which was one of my favorite shows. Love it. Oh, we're seeing kids for the first time this weekend. Maybe I'm just not ready to adopt yet. I drove by the wine shop on the way home the other night. You think she's sober? But you didn't go in. Mm -mm. 
the key to me. I think she's lying. It's not that you had the urge, but that you resisted it. Trust me, you wouldn't have made it through the home study if you weren't uh, ready. I think she will eventually relapse. It's a better guess. <laughs> at the, all this lost moment of this movie or midpoint. Based off of Hollywood structures. Because it felt like there was more behind her answer and she said, mm-mm. It felt like, mm-hmm. No, I already kind of see the character arc here. Hi, Is this a uh, niece? No, she has two kids before the one that she lost. That's right. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like there was someone in the reflection. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. I forgot the kid was back there. <laughs> it's like, is there a ghost child in that car? It was legit 15 seconds before that we met that kid. Are you good? I was just so in the moment. Yeah. I was also thinking about like. Look at this home. It's gorgeous. Way to hide it from your proms. I was thinking about like how great Vera Farmiga is a plain depressed, disturbed woman. I'm always impressed with any movie that has Margot Martindale in it, though, because then you know that you're you really give a crap about the caliber of actor. Very good, Roxy. <laughs> I'm working. No, honey, I'm. Oh. Take a break for a little while, okay? Because mommy's trying to play. So she had a miscarriage, a child who's hearing impaired. Does this ch first child have anything? Sorry, practice went a little late. It's all right. Whoa. Bully syndrome. <laughs> no. Yes! Give me five. Daniel. Fine. <laughs> oh. Directionally looked like it was going forward to the car. <laughs> it wasn't. I'm trying to see if there's any horror details that we're going to come back around any time later. Because it is like very specific close-ups on things. She's wearing cochlear implants. So maybe she has some of her hearing when it's in. Interesting to go into the daughter's perspective on this scene. Well, as she took them out. Yeah. Oh, so that's a sweet story. <laughs> that's a big reaction for a kid about that. Hard. Like, how do you explain that to your kids? Anybody who has a stillborn or a miscarriage? Usually, the I've heard the angel approach done before. I knew someone, a family who had that once. And it was actually a very similar type of way to translate the story. Very quick way to get us invested in these characters. I was thinking the same thing because it started off like so aggressively horror and, yeah. and then I'm like, oh, now I'm just invested in the drama of these guys. The emotionality. I'm not invested in the dad yet, though. Where are you at, homie? I'll tell you the truth. Not a big fan of him, isn't I? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'll see. I'll be open. Man, I really like this bathroom. <laughs> sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. Love a good mirror jump scare. I'm very excited. I'm happy. I get nervous. I'm really scared. Is she pregnant again? No, they're going to adopt. Oh, that's Stay. what she's scared about. Last time I felt all yeah. of this was... Right before I lost the baby. I just don't want you to feel like we have to go through with this for my sake. Good call, Greg. Yeah. Also, they said it in the therapy session. No, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> it's the way she was looking in the mirror. I don't know. I'm going to take the love that we felt for Jessica, and I want to give it to somebody who really needs it. You sure? Yes. It's cool that they're having the conversation of... You know, like the grief of losing a child or a miscarriage, but then also, are we worthy enough to adopt? Like, I think they're very human questions to be asking. I'm not judging the character or something like that. I'm just saying that these are conversations that I've heard in real life of other people who have done it and have adopted for a reason like this. Get thee to a nunnery. 
Okay, so they're all orphans here. It's an orphanage. Which is the name of the movie. Yes. Which is why, Greg. This is usually you get orphans from an orphanage. <laughs> oh my god, that is that's, that's creepy. <laughs> you creepy little shits. So so hard to figure out who you're picking. Like that's got to be torturous. Oh my god, no, it's not. No problem. Go with the whitest one. I have five adopted cousins, and every time I'm like, "How did you know who?" Whitest one, best looking one. Good oh. teeth. You want to look at teeth? Okay. I'm sure, Thank they got a future ahead, and based off their looks theory. alone. <laughs> yeah. We've got each other's arms. Hello. Oh. Hi. Are all these paintings yours? Yes. Oh no, I'm very upset right now. Upset. Yeah. That he's being lured into doing this? No, I just don't know what to make of this. And like, you don't want to get close to somebody. My name is Esther. What's yours? Hi, Esther. John. Nice to meet you. Cause like Esther knows what's happening right now. This is so sad. Where'd you get the idea for this one? My paintings always tell story. This one's about the sad mother lion who can't find her cubs. She's smiling. Oh, Esther's smart. This is one worth adopting. I hope she finds them. She will. Look. Does she have an accent? Yeah. What is it? Sounds French. They were lost in the jungle, and they were so scared because they didn't have a mother or father. So just when they thought they'd be alone forever, they found their mother asleep under this tree. (laughs) Oh, God. Okay, this is Esther. Hello. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah, don't don't adopt that kid. (laughs) She painted all these. Really? Yeah. These are fantastic. That's great. There's such a sense of wonder around Esther, and then that nun's like, don't the f- do it. Man. Just had lots of time to practice, I guess. Really boring here. Hey, if you're so bored, then why aren't you down at the party? I've never really seen the point of it. Nobody's ever talked to me before. Why? Why? I guess I'm different. There's nothing wrong with being different, you know? Ah, uh, you're going to regret those words. I think people should always try to take the bad things that happen to them in their lives and turn them into something good, don't you? Absolutely. That's a great... Outlook? <laughs> outlook, and I feel like there's consequences awaiting. She's originally from Russia, but it's amazing how strong her English Russia. is. Russia. She's only been in the country a few years. I have a cousin adopted from Russia. The family that brought her to America died in a house fire. A fire? Did Esther start the fire? This is an extraordinary little girl. She's very bright. She's very mature for her age. She's a bit of a princess, actually. She wears those ribbons on her wrists and her neck all the time. Oh, no. The only time we've ever had trouble with her is when we've tried to take them off. Uh... You ever heard the story they take it off and the head goes, the green ribbon with the head? You you didn't read that as a kid? Oh, it's like the scariest. I don't think that's what's going to happen, but (laughs) sure, that's be awesome. She wore this ribbon around her neck, (laughs) and she wouldn't let anybody take it off, and finally when they did, her head fell off. That's like a real horror. It's a real horror story. Book that kids read. Uh I read it. It might have been called Red Ribbon or Green Ribbon. Was it your adopted Russian cousin who read this too? No. (laughs) Call me if you need anything. Bye. Thank you. Esther is such a non-little kid name. Like, you think of... Like an old woman? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's got old soul to her. She paints. Maybe there's something there. This feels like an older horror movie to me in a good way, where it's like taking its time. It's doing the character build up. But nowadays, I feel like they're like 90 minutes tight dread <laughs> things. <laughs> like, this just feels like a family drama right now. And Max is like this. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. got to communicate with the fam bam. It's got to be so scary. Hello, Max. My name is Esther. She's been practicing the whole way. <laughs> oh, she's so she's adorable. She's so cute. I'd like to introduce you to Grandma Barbara. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, that's precious. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, little boy, you're going to get hurt. Or maybe he tortures her. We don't know. Oh, you have a piano? Yeah. She's so sophisticated. Greg, I'm like preemptively gutted right now. Do you like it? It's perfect. Good. I've, we're having two very different responses. I'm like, <laughs> I don't trust this little girl. And you're like, I feel terrible for this little girl. <laughs> How do you say thank you? Thank you. I hope the twist is she's just a Russian spy. She's a kid, Greg. <laughs> yeah, they train them young. Wow, look at that. What? Like you're treating her like she's Megan. <laughs> you, got, you got to be prepared. <laughs> 
Wow, cool. <laughs> oh no, he's already jealous. Oh, ho, ho, she knows exactly what she's doing. Infiltrate Esther. Greg, her whole family died in a fire. And I wonder why. Okay, but say she did start the fire as a kid. You Esther made her? didn't start the fire. fire. <laughs> How's she doing, Kate? Yeah. Esther's fitting right in. I met Maxine. She's playing by the pond like nothing ever happened. She doesn't remember anything, does she? No, she's fine. That's where the miscarriage was? What are your plans? You know, probably get Esther settled and uh, go back to teaching. That's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like when people eat cake like that. I was just thinking how great that cake looks. <laughs> That's a very good job. Yeah, well, I didn't quit because I wanted to. Wow. You had to have your moment of clarity. That is an AA term. And I didn't go to AA. I just stopped drinking. Same difference. Judgmental. I don't know what your opinion is of Vera Farmiga, but I think she is a phenomenal actress. Yeah, she's incredible. She's like, really, really good. The amount of nuances she can do in one scene. Yep, she's uh, really, she's really good. So, so every super, super solid. So with you, Greg. Every scene, every like moment. Yeah. It doesn't help that she's so ugly, though. You know what I mean? Like, goddamn. That is a challenge. It is a real. She's had to overcome that part of her career. <laughs> Whoa. When did this movie get great? <laughs> what the shit is happening with little Esther? Esther's going to come in. This no. is not the right timing, Esther. Go in there, Esther. Ruined this for him. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're mad at Esther because she's about to ruin a... Hey, watch your words. I already have to work around this footage. That's why I said it like that. Yeah, you don't think it's still going to... What, do you want me to call it a beach? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. Yeah. How do you feel about Esther right now? Uh, sad for her. Yeah? We're scared of the lightning. Oh, oh. come in. I want to sleep next to daddy. She's a manipulative old soul. Oh. Yeah, you want to make sure you're caught up against your wife right now. Maybe she was scared. She's working her way up to being number one child. She's putting the ribbon on, but we didn't see the front. You saw, and her head, saw the her back. head was still on. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just saying she very clearly has scars or something. Somebody cut her or something. Oh, sweetheart, this isn't really a school dress. But I like it. Don't you think it's pretty? <laughs> she is so good at being sweet, though. <laughs> little Esther. You're afraid the other children will laugh at me, aren't you? I thought you said there wasn't anything wrong with being different. There isn't. Depends on what that different is and if I agree with it. Have fun. <laughs> You're okay, Roxy. I've, I, I'm aching inside, Greg. Let it out. That's why we react to show <laughs> how we feel. <laughs> okay, this is our new student. Her name's Esther Coleman, and I'd like you all to make her feel very welcome today. Nobody's going to make her feel welcome. Little Bo Peep texts me. She wants her outfit back. <laughs> it's time to strangle that little girl, Esther. You take a seat. Okay, if everybody could turn to page 27. Oh. And like, why didn't the teacher say anything? Like, in these movies all the time, they hear the insults and they're like, everybody take a seat. How about like, bitch, go to the principal office. That was mean. Because movie needs to ha happen and Esther needs to murder. You don't play near the water. You know that. Come on, get out. Her biggest fear is losing her children. Whoa. Greg, you ever gone paintball? <laughs> I have actually, yeah. See, this kid freaks me out more. Don't do it, kid. Don't do it. I don't, don't like do, him. You do this, I I wish death upon you right away. And uh, Esther gonna murder you bad. YouTube, that kid is probably a grown adult now. I can say that about him. You wished death upon him, Greg. He deserves to die. You want him unalived. He just murdered a bird. For his own amusement. Let's see what Esther has to say about this. It's just a paintball. I didn't think it hurt him. Oh my God, Esther's going to finish the job. Put him out of his misery. Esther. Put it out of its misery. <gasps> You're Esther. It's in pain. Yeah. And it's your responsibility. That's true. If you walk away now, it'll starve to death. Is that what you want? I'm not doing it. That is so violent. 
believes in heaven now. <laughs> I don't think Esther she's believes been, in heaven. She's been put through the ringer. She's had a lot of in her life, Greg. It's okay to be different. Yep. Okay. Call me if you need anything. I agree. Now I'm on Esther's side on this one. Damn, that was cold. You are on Esther's side? I mean, she had to put the bird out of the misery. Oh, you man. agree? Okay, okay. Yeah, it's just but the way, the manner in which she did it. Suspect. Look at that knob. What's about to happen? Esther. Good creepy string music. What are you doing? I always lock the door. No, we don't lock doors in this house. What if someone comes in and sees me? Sees you? Come in. Look, I'm going to stand right here. That's but I don't feel like she's doing a good job acknowledging her fears. I used to sing for the sisters in the orphanage so they would know I was all right. It's like a very real fear. All right, but okay, you know what? This is just for tonight. She doesn't want people to walk in and see her. Obviously, she has trauma, Greg. And you don't like Esther. Uh, or she takes on a true nightmarish form when she sleeps. No, this all has to do with the ribbons. She doesn't want anybody to see what's under her neck. Oh, no. What's behind there? Esther's the devil woman. She practices witchcraft or something. What is up with this child? As a parent right now, do you open this or no? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. My brand new child I brought home with this, like, Satan book? Yeah. Oh, no. Esther's about to come out. Oh, no. Who's in the photo? Uh, maybe her dad? Oh, no. All right, Greg. The shot. The shot's intense. They tricked me. <laughs> they tricked me, Greg. <laughs> Joke's on me. It did sound like she stopped singing for a minute, though. If this was, like, my child I've had for years, different story. I just brought this kid home. I don't know what's in this creepy book. Maybe you bring it to her and ask. I haven't opened it yet, but I would like to. Oh, my God. Kids are so mean. I can't wait for you to die a horrific death. Yeah, he is killing me. Is this a Bible? Jesus freak brought a Bible to school today. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> Sister's a total spaz. She's not my sister. Oh, no. See, you don't feel bad for her? Greg, please. I feel really bad for her right now. Okay. I do. It's your collar, little doggy. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's a crazy shot. And, like, you know that little child actress had to do that take 50 times with that screen. I think... This movie does an excellent job at having you go, something's up with this Esther girl, too. Yeah. I feel so bad for this Esther girl. It's mommy and daddy on their wedding day. It's Daniel. Christmas morning. Devil child. But she seems so happy to see the family. There's you. Esther joins. Who's Jessica? I never held you, but I feel you. You never spoke, but I hear you. I never knew you. But I love you. Oh, look at Esther. She feels for her. What happened to her? She died while she was still in my tummy. But we scattered her ashes here. So she had ashes. As long as this plant grows, then part of her will be alive inside it. Oh, that's beautiful. I didn't know pe the people do that. Yeah, but think about if you kill the plant. Yes, that is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Esther uh, started to open up today. That's very interesting. Yeah. There's some weird yeah, editing choices. Yeah, I was just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> is it uh, this sort of capturing the touches of their intimacy? It kind of is creepy. But she, Esther's also preventing their intimacy, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, interrupt Esther. That's cute, though. They're in love. Oh. Oh, she just go for it. She went from no, no, no to actually let me just take my own shirt off. Oh, no. We're going to see Esther. Ah. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. No, 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 no. Where is Esther? Greg? I'm trying to watch the movie, Rox. <laughs> Where is Esther? I am actually really. She's going to open her eyes and see Esther for sure. You think so? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I thought, I thought that was moving. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, my God. I mean, you guys are some irresponsible-ass parents to be doing that Go right in, in the your kitchen. Room. Go to your room. We have to talk about last night. Do we? 
I, I would love it if there's, I would say that too. I love it if there's like nothing supernatural. It's just, it's just like playing on the anxieties of parenting. Esther, listen to me. When grown-ups love each other very, very much, they want to show each other that love. They want to express it. I know. They Little Esther, not that kind of language around her. She knew what it meant. And, and babe, the way she said it is, I don't even think she expected to get in trouble over it. Well, I'll talk to her about it tonight. Esther's been exposed to some shit. Remember, she was like, I want to sleep next to daddy. So we can take her to Dr. Browning. I don't think we need to take her to the shrink quite yet. What? No, she was only in an orphanage after her parents died in a fire. She shouldn't do therapy. I don't want her exerting that kind of influence over me. That's... I just don't want to make a big deal out of one little dirty word. It's not about how with it, your other It kids. wasn't just like he, she said the F word. She just said they, I didn't even like use that word in that context till much later in my life. Look at your own actions, those parents. Why did you guys do that? Because they love each other. Okay. They're Caucasian parents. I'm going to defend them at all costs, Roxy. I hope you know this. I vaguely. Caucasian wealthy parents. Hey. Haven't seen you around lately. Uh-oh. I've been pretty. Oh, no. Has the Homeowner Association been soldiering on without me? It's not the same. <clears throat> He's cheating on his wife? I think so. Actually, I had a favor to ask. Um, I have a chair that I need moved upstairs. <laughs> I was hoping you could come by and help me sometime. Yeah, sure. Maybe Kate and I could help you out. Just let us know. Okay, I'll call you. Uh-huh. Ooh, what's she gonna do? Get to work, Esther. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Uh, bitch is gonna get pushed. Oh no. Oh no. Greg, Greg, Greg. I like the way this movie uses its settings a lot. It feels like the thing that combat cliches. Greg, just as Greg, 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 Greg. Greg, Greg. Nope, Greg, right now. Nope. No, see? Soon as I toy Greg. with your expectations. Greg, Greg, Greg. Why didn't you escape to mommy? Why go up? Now. All right, Greg, we're still waiting. Greg, Greg, Greg. Smart how it plays on like day to day anxieties on top of everything, too. I mean, Esther has to dole out some punishment. Little girl has it coming. She was being a huge witch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Push your face down, Esther. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's <gasps> <laughs> what I'm talking about. This is like Wednesday Adams, though, look right now. Like, if Madeline and Wednesday had a kid, it sure. would be Esther. Yeah. Brenda's father says that you pushed her. That's not true. We were just playing. I swear. <laughs> Esther. Okay. And did you see what happened? Good sister. Good sister, man. It's not how it works between Greg and Jabby Kowe. I snitch right away. That my little sister would do that for me in a heartbeat. She slipped, bitch. I saw nothing. She slipped. <laughs> Oh, I hate that sound. Don't squeak it. Don't know, squeak it. Can't even look at it, can you? Can you eat normal? What do you mean eat normal? Well, my friends make fun of me because of her. Maybe you need some different friends. Maybe you should send her back to the real camp where she belongs. Daniel. Daniel, apologize to your sister. She's not my sister. That's where she got the F word from. Or maybe that's where he got it from. Okay. That's me. He can't be a good husband. He can't be a... I mean, not not good husband. He can't be a. He doesn't feel fulfilled as a husband. Doesn't feels like he's failing as a father. I mean, they were just boning on the counter. I know, but I think he couldn't. He couldn't. No, he couldn't finish, man. That was the first time they were doing it in forever. Get the key back when you say you're sorry. Oh, I feel so bad for him that he couldn't finish. Yeah, after man, I would have been like, she already saw. <laughs> Greg, ready for kids. <laughs> we're doing good. How is she? She's right here. Hold on a second. Virgin Mary is watching. I'm gonna need. Dental charge for my supervision report. She dropped the F bomb on me. Any other glitches I should know of? It's a girl named Brenda at school. Uh, 
Damn, you know your girl can read lips, right? Does she not know that? No, she does know. She said that she keeps those cochlear implants in so that she can read limbs. lips. It helps her hear enough. You should have finished the job, Esther. Yes, you and I are have two different. Uh, we are having two different reactions to this, Craig, for sure. Oh my God, Esther's evolving. <laughs> You told me you didn't know how to play. No, I didn't. You offered to teach me and I accepted. That is true. It must be frustrating for someone who loves music as much as you to have a son who isn't interested and a daughter who can't even hear. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, man. She is such a good actress, dude. <laughs> Just like, I tried to be a good mom, but hey, I'm getting frustrated. Yeah, it's hardly a lie, huh? You wouldn't know. Honestly, you wouldn't know. She's always on her best behavior with you. She's. I think Esther's trying to replace her. Think so? My mind just went down a really dark, twisted yeah, path, I... but I think that's what's happening. I don't know. Just get rid of Brenda. Trying to... doesn't like her. Okay, let's not blame her for anything. Fine. I'll take a word for everything. Should I just believe what she said about you and Joyce Patterson too? What did she say? Oh, look at that nerve. <laughs> Did she invite you over? She asked me to help her move a chair. I blew her off. Why didn't you tell me? Because. Why? I... We could have laughed about it. No, I knew you how you'd... hiding it. I knew how you'd react. He became so laughing about it. Yeah. His reaction is big cheater energy. It's only been two years since you told me. No. How sorry I am. I just feel like I don't oh. have a little trust here. Big he cheater has energy. Cheated. You know? Yeah, okay. And why did he tell her two years ago? We can talk about my mistakes, but not yours. I was sick! You were an asshole who wanted to f somebody else! You put our child's life in danger. In fact, I could have walked away months ago. Nobody would have blamed me. Oh, that's sharp. Maybe after her miscarriage, she had some kind of, like, psychotic with uh, her other kid. That's why no nothing near the water. Uh, because he's saying, she's saying, I was sick. And he said, you put your, her life in danger. It's like that's postpartum, but you didn't have the kid, you know? Uh, I don't know, just theory. May have made a mistake. I think there could be something wrong with Esther. That was the worst line of dialogue in the movie. After you told me about the girl in the playground, I called her old school. There was a boy who fell with a pair of scissors in his hand and accidentally stabbed himself through the jaw. <laughs> the most troubling thing is the Sullivan house fire. It was arson. They have never found the person who did it. Yeah. Little devil. Mean lady here. She's come to take me away. Will you help me? I... Love the way they've written Esther. I just love it. I think we need to know what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a nine-year-old girl who's an orphan. No, that's it. Okay. We're taking her to Dr. Browning. We can take her to Dr. Browning. This is a very generic horror movie plot that is executed with a lot of nuance that like, I really like. Most importantly, casting. Yeah, like there's... Yeah. Like, like, I'm surprised you don't like him. I think he is killing I like. It. I think he's good in this movie. Yeah. I do. There's he's, a lot of movies I don't like him in. Then. He's a really strong counter to her. You can see why they're together, but you could see where the problems would lie. Yeah, no, they have good chemistry. And I, I like the way how they're... The in between with the miscarriage in between now is how that's unraveling. I think there's a lot of really good, oh, great qualities. Oh, oh my god, you Gun? smart cookie, smart cookie. No, oh, oh, okay. Well, why should she have to know how to do this? Why is she doing that? Do you want to play Russian roulette? I'll call you as soon as I find anything else out. Right, okay. take care. Thank you very much. Maybe later. <laughs> she, this little girl's a good actress, man. We'll scare her so bad she'll never come back here. She plays her so realistic. Like there's, what there's are they going to do, shoot her tires? There's a sincerity to her. Wave your arms and make her stop. Max, go. No, oh my god. Is she going to hit Max? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, Esther. Max? Max? You okay? Finish oh, the no. job. Woo! <laughs> Stop crying. Grab a foot and help me get her off the road now. <gasps> what is she? I feel so bad for her, though, because, like, this got to be a learned behavior or something, right? 
She's a little kid. She's nine. Greg. What is this? Stop crying. Why does she yeah, know? Th- that's why I love how they're portrayed. Because normally it's like Satan, baby. But why does she know piano perfectly? Like it's based in some psychology. This is awesome. Greg, this is very upsetting. This is a very unsettling movie. I'm loving it. <gasps> she lives. Stay down. Stay down. No, just don't move, babe. That's what happens when the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is in your life. See? <laughs> oh, the devil's come to finish the job. Oh, my God. I feel worse for Max, though. Me, too, because now Max, like, is Max going to tell or no? Is that what you're concerned about? She's in some the drama, Max. I'm just, no, but, dirty. like, if Max doesn't tell her parents, this girl stays around. You know, she's got to tell, but I'm scared. I'm sure she's scared. Help me hide her. Wow, Esther, you are horrifying. She's a terrifying character. Yeah, because, Greg, I feel horrible for this her. This is like some Stephen King shit. Do you think she was born this way, or do you think she became this way? I think it's best if we never find out, but oh. I would suspect it's a... Well, we got to know about I the sus- ribbons. We can't not know about the ribbons. The ribbons are the key to all of this. <sighs> if you want to know my theory, it's that she tried me. to unalive herself and she lived. I had to kill her because she was going to tell on me. You're not going to tell on me, are you? Say no. Say no. Do you think she already spoke sign language and she pretended she didn't? Or do you think she just learned this quickly? Oh, that's one of the great questions of the movie, isn't it? I think she already knew. I won't let anything happen to you. I love you. <laughs> I've seen creepy orphan characters so many times. I think this is an amazingly different way of doing it. Oh, no. Appear right before his eyes. What's the next shot? Is she come over or no? Yeah. Uh, she's going to throw a rock or something. I don't know. Oh no, what's she gonna do in his sleep? No, 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 no. This is what happened to her night. <laughs> Tell me what you saw. <laughs> She's so good. I saw you and Max in the tree house. Did you tell anyone? I didn't tell anyone. If I find out that you're lying, I'll cut your hair less with <laughs> before you even figure out what it's for. Is she like a Russian spy? She's like a, an assassin. Maybe she's really old and put herself yeah, in a she, little body. That's what I think. I think she's like a reincarnated soul or something like that. Or sort of like some like a Chucky doll transfer, but with a human. Well, yeah, there's something to do with those ribbons and her name being Esther. It seems she feels there's been some real tension between the two of you. She's really doing her best to please you, but you're blocking her attempts to bond. That's not true at all. I, I, I've done everything, right? Ooh. <laughs> So who's this? This is Sister Judith from St. Mariana's. I really need to know if Sister Abigail made a her appointment with you. Esther was watching. Yeah. She hasn't returned since yesterday. You gotta find the body. The snow and the ice in this movie is a really smart choice, too. Oh, yeah. Helps create a sense of isolation. It's also hard to know what's water below, what's frozen. Okay, I think we're done. No, not yet. I don't understand this kind of thing who would do this. You know who. You know who. I, I bet they arrest Vera for Miga or something. <laughs> you and I are having two totally different responses to this movie, man. Because uh, I'm aware this movie is also like, just wanting to be like a fun creepy child movies on top of like psychological trauma Just manifesting wanna, like what do you believe about nature versus nurture right i mainly believe in the nurture triumphing over nature character disturbed children look at the symptoms superficially charming difficulty making and keeping friends good googling they are adroit manipulators, oftentimes playing people off one another to get what they want. Are you going to show this to Dr. Browning? I'm not showing her anything. I'm not seeing her anymore. Wow. Why does everyone around here get the benefit of the doubt from you except for me? Uh. 
I love Esther so much. But do you? I do. I love her so much. What if Sister Abigail was right? I mean, if someone was in danger, if our own children were in danger. Our own children. She doesn't think of her as a child. Exactly. I was wondering if you'd heard from anyone at the Sudyanka Orphan Shelter in Russia. Sister Abigail had mentioned that she would. Dude, I would be having this conversation like miles away from the house. I don't understand. How can they have no record of her being there? Yes, please. Could you just could you call me as soon as you Esther on destroyed her that shit. Esther? Esther? Yes, sir. I don't want to go to the dentist. What, are you scared? No. We're going to reschedule. Tell you what, I'll let you play hooky this morning if you want to come downstairs and draw with me. But she has to get the dental records. How are you two uh, getting along with Esther? Has she ever made you feel uh, uncomfortable or has she done anything that she's not supposed to do? No. You got to tell how terrified your kids are. You got to tell. Kids are usually better liars than we give them credit for. But it's also like, it's a scary question. So mm -hmm. it's hard to read. You don't know how long I've waited for a daddy just like you. I don't think mommy likes me very much. Why don't you do something nice for mommy, show her how much you love her? That's a wonderful idea. What do you got up your sleeve, Esther? I have a special surprise for you, mommy. You do? Pick these flowers just for you. Esther! <laughs> wow. They were the flowers from the, from the yeah, yeah. From that child. Hun. She knew what these roses meant to me. <laughs> my fault. It's my fault. I told you. That's evil. But you gotta respect the game, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she is so smart. She's gonna hurt her own arm and say it's from her mom. I hope so. Oh my god, oh my god. What have you done, Esther? Imagine breaking your own arm. Daddy! See, she wants to get rid of mommy. She wants to replace mommy. I don't think it's replace her as much as it's get rid of her. My arm's too hurt. <laughs> Gotta call Child Protection Services on mommy. Sorry, honey. Oh my god. Take her to the hospital. Doctor said you're gonna heal real fast. <laughs> She's like, I this know what that little bitch is up to. <laughs> You broke her arm. It's impossible. I didn't grab her that hard. She wants to sleep in here tonight. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Esther's the new mommy. We got some kind of Woody Allen situation going on, you know what I mean? Oh my God, you got to chill with that, bro. <laughs> there it is. She's back on the bottle. Yeah. Because times are bad. Yeah, boy. She's got to be wondering her options. Like, can we give her back? Or does that make us the worst people alive? But if you give her back, you don't get your money back, right? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, my no. gosh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Have a good day. She's so smart because she terrorizes you from within. No. Daniel, your books. What information have you left behind? What happened? Let me see your bag. Oh, she got a hole in the bottom. We just bought this. Pick it up. It's going to get wet. Did Esther plan on? What? Esther's driving? Now she put it in the neutral. Oh, with her sister in the car? Mom! Oh. Oh, my God. Look how irresponsible you are, Mom. Oh, my God. This is a She's closing shot. her eyes. Oh, my God. He's going to hit the snowbank. Second time you've endangered your child's life. She didn't do it, Greg. I know, but this wow, we is have what switched the, this places. Is, this we is what the jury is going to say, though. I got you here. Oh. I'm saying... I see what Esther's plan is. And you love her now. And I've team Esther. <laughs> Max didn't indicate that Esther did anything. You are the stupidest therapist I've ever seen, man. <laughs> Max is covering for her, and I don't think it's the first time. It also wouldn't be the first time you blamed Esther for your own mistake. Ugh, okay, well, that's fair. 
the way Esther is getting the information. The girls found this this morning. There you go. You mean Esther found it? Yes, Esther. Does it make any difference? Is she lying? You need help. We've reserved a place for you in a rehabilitation facility about 45 minutes from here. Oh, ho, ho. I didn't drink it. We want to help you, but there's nothing we can do until you stop lying to yourself. I'm not lying to anyone. What happened this morning has nothing to do with this. Whole footage. Get cameras. Only reason that I'm sober is because of Max and Daniel. That is the only reason. I would never do anything to let something like that ever happen again. So manipulative. <laughs> No, I haven't given you uh, reason to believe me. I lied to you about this. Damn. I should have told you about this. The way the relationship is falling apart. I'll give you a week to go to rehab or I'm leaving and I'm taking the kids with me. Wow. I will shoot the mommy if you tell. You love her? She's just so good at the game. <laughs> I really thought we were walking into like supernatural Satan baby shit. But the fact that it's not and this they've managed to make it believable enough. I'm just really impressed with the game. If you saw her, you have to help me. So mom and dad can protect us. Keep your voice down. You don't need to talk loudly. She can't speak. Is that sister Abigail? Stop talking so loud. You don't need to talk. She can't speak. <laughs> yeah, but she can hear with the thing and the lip reading. I know, but he should he can mouth it. I know, but he doesn't need to talk so loud. What did she do in my treehouse? Are the bad things still there? No. I'll get the stuff from the treehouse, and they'll have to believe us. Oh my god, idiot boy, you deserved it. <laughs> Clearly, mommy will be on your side. Oh no, this is bad, Greg. Tell the mom. Yeah, but what's she gonna do? Find the treehouse stuff. They're gonna be like, you're drinking. What I would yeah, do- Yeah, Esther's gonna get the treehouse stuff, obviously. I have to know about the ribbons. Going somewhere, Kate? She's like a spy. She's an assassin. I will not let you hurt my children. I'm not the one who passed out drunk and let Max almost drown in the pond. If it wasn't for John, he'd be dead. Mm. You'd probably still be in jail. Who told you that? It's very intimate. <sighs> she was still kicking when the doctor told me it was something called phantom fetal movement. Nah. 15 days, I carried Stop my it. dead baby inside me. Esther. It was the cruelest torture I could imagine. That memory of hers. We adopted her from you. How could you not know anything about her? The Sullivans could have adopted her illegally. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't want him to die. I changed my mind on that. No, because he's a, a regular shithead. But so are big brothers at that time. Uh. Oh no. Does she feel like she's always watching? Big thud. What's in it? It's all the dads. It's all the dads. Oh my God, Greg. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Greg, 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 is Esther up there and gonna push him because he's going for the stuff or is the stuff just not there? I really don't know the answer to that, Roxy. <laughs> I need to talk to somebody about... Uh, One of your children. She is not come from here. Well, I haven't even told you her name yet. The Southern Institute is not an orphanage. It is a mental hospital. This is bad news, Greg. This is bad news bears. No, 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 no. Do what you gotta do, Esther. Are you looking for this? <sighs> I couldn't have done it myself, you know? Max is just as guilty as I am. Oh Whatever Max God. did, you Flat. made her do it. It's always better to burn the evidence. Oh, no. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Oh, my God. What do you do in that moment? If you're a little boy trapped in the treehouse? Yeah. Well, exactly what he's doing. It's called the Sarn Institute. You irresponsible mom. She's trying to help. All of her paperwork is from Russia. I'm sending them a picture of her right now, trying to find out whether maybe her birth mother was a patient there. What's that Benjamin Button syndrome where you like de-age? <laughs> I don't think it's real. Yeah, I'm just saying in movies it is. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Might still be alive. Oh god! Call 911! Oh no, she's gonna go beat him? They're going to have Yeah, little Max! Let's go, Max. I love Max. Mommy's right here. Can you hear me? Please wake up, honey. Mommy's right here. Okay. Ooh, ho, 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 something's wrong with us. That should be the name of the movie. He has a very serious neck injury. He's stabilized for now. He's resting in the ICU. You gotta believe the mom a tiny bit at this point. Can I have a dollar for the soda machine? Oh no. Your mother wants you to stay right there. What's your plan? There you go. Don't be what? too long. Oh, come on, Grandma. You got to know. You got to know something's wrong with that girl. She's going to kill... What's his name? Uh, Daniel. Daniel. Wow. The fact that she's going to kill him right now. Oh, no. Max knows. Max, tell the Grandma. Go save him again. That's your brother. Okay. Oh. Yeah, just let her wander the halls of the hospital by herself. Grandma, what the fuck? Is he gonna, she gonna put the dollar in his mouth? Of course he wakes up. <laughs> this poor Daniel. Why is the machine not be, he's not getting enough oxygen. Oh, she took it off and put it on her finger. Smart girl. Smart effing girl. I know, that's why I, you kind of root for her. Because <laughs> of how smart she is. <laughs> what, what is it, sweetie? Oh no! Oh. I see you. <laughs> He's in cardiac arrest, yeah? Stay out here. Daniel! Alright, here we go. Start a drip. Check TV, please. Check oh, that's horrifying. Damn, this movie goes aggressive with shit, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. What are you doing to me, bitch? Stop. Do you went to do? I knew my bitch! Oh. <laughs> and she had the soda in her hand, too. Okay, well, that's not something they would do. <laughs> okay. Trying to prove she's insane, and then she's going to be the one getting committed to I the Unknown missed insane. call, what the institute have to say. We need to know what the call was. I hope we find it in the post credit scene after she's been lebotomized. Don't worry about Daniel. He'll be okay. You need to stay overnight, get some rest. I'm going to take Max and Esther home. Oh, wait, where is she? In the hospital. I it's think she's in a her. different section of the hospital, Yeah, probably right? mental ward section or something. They wouldn't just let them see her if she's just in the mental ward right there. Because it's a movie, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This is the time she needs to tell her dad. Oh, that's why she's watching. The dad does kind of, he is kind of annoying me, though. Like, it, it, he's got to be a tad suspicious. She took her cochlear oh. implants. He's got to be a little suspicious. It's a little frustrating. Yeah, but she is showing him who she wants him to be. Or she wants him to think she is, I mean. What's making you say that? I think my, my, I think my theory is going <laughs> to... Did you see what she was wearing? That was... Yeah. You think she like wants to date him? I think I said she wants to replace her. By being his wife? Or something. I think it's or something. You know what I mean? But come on, look what she's doing right now. I know. I don't know what to make of it, Greg. You gotta have a more twisted mind. I think she's gonna cut open something nice for him. Hello, Daddy. There it is. What are you wearing? Do you like it? Oh, she drugged his drink? I don't know. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen, but I didn't want it to happen. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to be alone. I'm scared. I love you, Daddy. You too. Oh my God. I really love you. Oh my God, Greg. This is so uncomfortable. <laughs> I can't stand you that you had the same idea that these creators did. Sure, let me take care of you. What are you doing? You said you loved me. I don't love you like that. Oh no, don't say that. 
You have to respect your mother. I do. I just feel like I'm alone sometimes in respecting you. I don't think anyone ever thinks about what you might be feeling. I really care about you, John. Oh my god. Come, John. I'm just I'm tired. Oh my god. She's doing it. Very tired. This movie knows Greg, that. Greg, I'm just... sick. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh no. Why did you do this, Greg? I had no idea that they would go this far, man. You said it from the top and I thought you were insane. <laughs> Stop talking and go upstairs. Go to your room. Stop talking to me like I'm a child. I'm calling Sister Judith tomorrow. We're going to have a conversation about your future in this house. Because I can't do it. Uh-oh. Don't say that. Too far. You went too far. Mr. It's the last one, honestly. My name is Dr. Varaba. I'm calling from the Sarn Institute. The nick of time call. I've just seen the picture you emailed to us. And do you recognize her? Where is she right now? There is that disease where people don't look older. They get to like 35. The little girl in the picture is not really a little girl. Yeah. She's a grown woman. Yeah. She doesn't grow up. She has a rare hormone disorder. It's called hypopituitarism. She only looks like a child. Lena Klammer was born in 1976. She's 33 uh, years old. Yeah. When she was here, she was kept in a straight jacket to stop her from hurting our staff. But she was constantly fighting to get out of it. It got into her skin and left her with scars around her wrists and neck. Got it. She's dangerously ill, violent. She killed seven people that we know of. Uh, see her true form? She's been passing herself off as a little girl for most of her life. She said, how can she fool us? She didn't fool you. When she couldn't seduce the father, she killed him and his whole family. Then she burned the house down. Huh? Yes. <laughs> this is so funny. If it's really Nina, you don't have much time. <laughs> She's got up and was like, yes. <laughs> uh, the nick of well, time movie At call. least she can't go to Child Protective Services. Like, at least she hit an uh, adult. So, purge. This, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my God, they're gone, and she knows it. Ugh. You think he's gonna cheat on his wife now? Do I think he's gonna cheat on his wife? Yeah, now that he knows, now that she's thirty-three. Greg, I want you to stop making predictions because they tend to come <laughs> true, and that will throw me off from of a balcony. Can you imagine if that's how this roof went? <laughs> oh, we found the paint, the glow in the dark nightlight. Yeah, man. Watch your house burn. Look at your burnt house. This little girl's a freak. And not a little girl. There's that real life story of the girl who has this disease where she looks like 12 and she's dating a 50 year old or whatever. Oh no. The truth. Oh, uh, so she did the artwork for the, the, suicide, the suicide Squad movie from David A. Oh, oh, my God. Of her touching him. Ew, ew. Oh, no, Daddy's dead. Yeah, but he drugged... She drugged him, I think. Oh, my God. Protect your daughter. And she has the gun, remember? I feel like Esther's going to come out on top. Remember she has the gun? Yeah, I did. Till I said it? No, I forgot. But you reminded me. And my fear has been enhanced now. Dude, I hope Esther wins. What is wrong with you, Greg? Oh, no. Oh no! Oh my god, she looks older now. Oh, oh he's way dead. But why is she driving like this? Where's Max gonna go? Oh, she wants her ear things. Oh, no, come on. You're going to ruin the equity on the house. It's just like, why didn't she stop sooner? <laughs> like, it doesn't take you quicker. She just freaked out. I get it. I mean, I don't get it, but oh, my God. Oh, no. John? No, no. This is a tragic ass movie, isn't yeah, but it? Go find Max. Damn. <laughs> Like, at least she knows in this moment that he didn't hook up with the kid. You gotta find the silver linings in dark times. Why would you fall for Esther's trap? Come on, you gotta know. Oh no. Why would you fall for Esther's trap? Did 
Did it hit her? What's she gonna do, shoot Max? Oh no, don't shoot Max. It sucks because Max doesn't know how loud she's being. That's one part of that, like they can feel vibrations in certain things and you know. Oh my God. But you gotta go save Max. <laughs> She locked the door, the window. Esther, you little genius. Oh, and she doesn't know she broke that. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, Greg. You'd be fine, Roxy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Greg. <laughs> Fall on her. Fall on her. Is that the solution? Dude, Esther's a good shot. Esther! Cut down there. Oh. Yep. Yep, that was the only move. Yep. Oh, Max gonna take the gun. Oh, oh, Max, take the gun. No, you gotta put one final bullet in Esther's head. You gotta make sure Esther's dead. Oh, what a mom will do for her kids. Oh. Why didn't you make sure Esther was dead? Because there needs to be a sequel, Greg. The orphan. Strikes back. Again. <laughs> Revenge of the orphan. <laughs> Interesting move to then do this. What? Bury Max J in the snow? Take Max to the woods? Cops are going to show up. Cops are, are going to be like... And I think she did it. Yeah. No, Esther's not going to be there. Yeah, but she has proof now that this was a... Esther! Gunshot, gunshot. Oh, Esther doesn't have a gun. Oh. Oh, Max is gonna have to shoot her? Oh, not the water. Oh. Ouch! Oh, good. You can overcome your trauma. Max, get the gun. Oh, they're gonna go in. She's gonna fall in. Come on. What is Max gonna do with this gun? I think Max is gonna team up with Esther and shoot them all. Or she's gonna... Oh, the ice falls. Oh. Vera Farmiga really doesn't deserve to die. Oh no, oh no. Uh, is everyone gonna die, Greg? That would be crazy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Greg. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. This goddamn devil woman. Don't let me die, Mommy. She got the knife. Yeah. I'm not your mommy! Knife. Ooh. Uh, oh no, get off the ice. Get off the ice. Get off the ice. It's, it's not over, Greg. It's not. There's a sequel. Always the orphan. Always the orphan, never the bride. They should do an orphan four. Call it orphan forever. Huh? Two orphan, two four. Serious? <laughs> two, two. Yeah, what? That's kind of... Oh my God, is the movie over? What the hell? Yo, Max, you got a weird service. <laughs> what the? This shit just happened here. <laughs> we got to see if there's a post credit scene. Nail polish. DiCaprio produced it. That's the only thing I heard about this movie for years. Is that what? It was that Leonardo DiCaprio produced this movie. I didn't know Vera Farmiga and Peter Sarsgaard were in this movie until moments before we filmed this movie. How did you find out then? Because uh, I saw it when I was loading this, that what they were. 
Chon Amon? Yeah. Good score. It's a Let's wait it out, Roxy. Wait it out. Wait it out. Not enough Margot Martindale. No. This made you like Peter better? He's all right. There's just something about him that it's just, I don't know what it is. Personal you know? vendetta? I, I can't quite pinpoint it. I get like, he's just always kind of irritated. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You don't have that with any actor. You don't have to name them. Yeah, I do. Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway it's, just kind of gets into your I skin. I kind of feel bad about it too because she's so good. That's how I feel about Peter Sarsgaard. <laughs> I'm like, he's really good. There's just something about him that really irritates me. Yeah. But I feel bad too because like, that's not nice. I'm sure Anne Hathaway is lovely. I know. I think she's great. But, but I think a lot of, a lot of people like, feel that way about her. A lot of people do. It just irks me sometimes. I get it. Ooh. All right, with the music. <sighs> All right. Hey, guys, listen. If you're listening to us on Apple or Spotify, we just watched Orphan. I'm joined with Roxy Stryer, who is in a great mood, I can tell. Look at this joy I see. You did this to me, guys. Shooting off of her face. This was the craziest part of the whole movie. You obviously wrote it. I did. I knew exactly <laughs> how this was going to play out. Which is the craziest part, because you wrote this movie, and then you made me watch it and pretended like that's not what happened. I mean, I've, I've seen so many psychological horror dramas that the second it was like bottle. I just couldn't believe second, that you knew they were. she was trying to hook up with him. I, it was pretty obvious. Not to me, bro, because my mind doesn't go there. It was pre- I I thought it was more creepy when I think the movie played it a little safe with thirty three year old. I I felt like it it got okay. Hold on a second. Can you scooch over to your left a little bit? <laughs> Is it because you were about to say some Just pedo the, shit? The fr- no, the frame's not good. <laughs> we are not center framed here. I'm gonna slightly scooch you in here. But you told me to go left. I know, but you moved too far left. Roxy, please. There's no time to argue with the great Greg Alba. It is 2024 now. Well, you did write this famous I, movie. I did write it. Okay. What are I going to say? Oh, yeah. See this over there? What is, is, uh, is the a, H&M bag? No, no, no. The, in the box here. No. That to be installed here. Is a spot for the keyboard. Mm-mm, I can't see Because I know it. you're going to be like, oh, uh, who did this, this made? Uh, who did the, did you, who did, uh, and I'm going to have to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> I bring you here. <laughs> Do you despise me? <laughs> to uh, treat okay, you bad. <laughs> but I am about to do that to you. So, like, I'm telling you, we need to look up if any part of this is based <laughs> Are on we the really true story. for sure doing this? Okay. So we got to know. Well, then I'm not going to attach it. Yeah, but what about. Okay. Yeah, the very yeah. minimal. I could put this on my lap. Yep. Yeah, I know. It's for me. It's for me. Uh, it's for me because I have this. You don't know how to, like. Yeah, but I have this. Type like a stuff. keyboard? Yeah, you're not the best. But, well, we'll see. I am woman, so how do I keyboard? And unfortunately, I actually am not the best at this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling. Okay, so what's what are we looking up? Look what are we like? looking up, guys? If you're listening to Apple and Spotify, Roxy is currently looking for a web browser on the computer, I found and she doesn't realize we are currently already <laughs> on a Look web browser. <laughs> the web browser is right on screen. Okay. <laughs> No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. Can't. Not now. Not now. Okay. So is the orphan mm-hmm. based on a true story? Okay. You spelled a few things wrong there, but well, I, while whilst looking at the keyboard typing. But yeah, well, we could do Because I can't that. see I'm blind as a bat, so I can't see that far. And this keyboard is okay. weird. Yeah, it's a keyboard. <laughs> well, it's big. Okay, so the orphan is big. Ba- I'll read it for you since you can't yeah. read, and um, you don't know how to zoom in. I'm assuming. Do you uh, know how to zoom in? <laughs> no, that's not how it works. Uh, the okay. movie Orphan. Wait, it's like it's command. Oh yeah, yeah, it 
You yeah, know, yeah, you yeah, learned yeah, it. You yeah, learned yeah. it. You did it. Um, the movie Orphan is based on a true story about Bar- Bar- Barbara, 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 Barbara Skrulova, who poses a 12 year old girl named Anika in the Czech Republic. Barbara, Barbara, lies and manipulation led to her being taken in by a woman named Clara uh, who subjected her own children to horrific abuse. Okay, but it wasn't like this story. It's inspired. Look at her. It, no, I'm saying Greg, it's. Insp- look at her. That's. Okay, that's cra- that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, she literally looks twelve. Um, that's a crazy story. So wait a minute, but none all this cr- shit didn't go down though. Like they, they totally it's, found it's inspiration more for a twisted. real life story. Greg, how way? How true is this? I, d- I don't. Are we know. about to have our minds blown? And that right blows now. my mind that this even like any part of. I this mean, I could place. totally believe that someone with this condition would pull some shit. Okay. Hold okay, on. I didn't realize it's true. I thought the movie was kind of chickening out on me. Have you ever seen the movie Orphan or its prequel, Orphan First uh, Kill? Don't, oh, ruin, so don't ruin Orphan First Kill. Okay, but it's we a prequel. Might wanna watch, we might want to watch it. Well, if you that. haven't considered this some major spoiler territory, Orphan is see For which one? I don't know, Greg. I haven't read the article. Have you seen it? For, well, if you haven't. Okay. All right, okay. I think we can read it. Go ahead. Uh, let's read the real story. Uh, okay, Barbara. Uh, scroll down a little more. Scroll. Okay, stop. Stop. Uh, okay. Barbara was born with hypo to to yep. uh Clara in the Czech Republic. Her story about being a twelve year old girl named Annika certainly seemed plausible, as did her story about fleeing from a violent group home. The single mother of t- of two took Barbara uh Annika home, opposing uh, Annika, where she lived with her children and her sister Katrina. She treated her like a family member right away with the intention of adopting her. Annika claimed to be extremely sick, requiring multiple doctor appointments, but curiously would only allow Katerina to take her. As it turned out, the pair were involved in a cult called the Grail Movement. (gasps) This is crazier. A group that follows the teachings of a 19th century mystic from Germany, and Barbara's father was head of the Czech branch of the movement at the time. Wow, this is like a totally different story. To keep up the charade, Katerina wrote notes about Annika's so-called treatment acting as her doctor. Over time, Barbara persuaded Clara that her problems were all due to her, her two children and that they should be abused, and they were most terrifically. Okay, wow. Okay, look, before we... I don't think we need to dive into... We, we, we can do a whole video about this some other time because, yeah, this gets, like, really... I am just, just saying it. Just you didn't know, dang. and I brought value today. You did. That You brought a lot of value because that is crazier and actually worse from what I previewed. That's wild. Yeah, this. Twin- Although it doesn't seem like any of the sexual stuff went down. Uh, some other stuff did, according to what I previewed. What? Some other stuff did. What? What I previewed? No, what I previewed on the article involving the brothers. Like in your eyes just now, without reading out loud. Yeah, I quickly skimmed some of the bars. So this was like we shouldn't touch on this right now. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Ooh. Because it, it looks like it gets worse than what happens in the movie. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Dang, I thought the movie was chickening out by making her a 33-year-old. I was more like, bold move, movie. (laughs) Well, I I was having this, and this is off topic, but on topic, like this conversation the other day. So say she wasn't a serial killer, right? (laughs) Say she was just a 33-year-old who looked like that. Yeah. So this really happens to people in real life, and then they grow up, and they look like kids. Uh And then they get- Like Lucy Hale. No, not like Lucy Hale, like this real thing. And they get married to, I can pull up the girl. She looks about 12, but she is in her late 20s. And she totally. is with this guy who's in his late 30s. And it's like, that. Like, is that pedo behavior to be with somebody who looks like a child? Um, not if you know they're not a child. But like, why are you attracted to them? Because of who they are. I don't know. That's what people say. I'm not, I, 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 know. I, I don't know how to put but that's my why mind I do, in that. So, <laughs> I know. So I'm saying, not that I feel bad for Esther, but Esther probably wants to have like a life and can't because nobody looks at her like an adult. Okay. You can't be murdering people. No. Bottom line. In this movie. I'm not talking about real life. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll talk about the movie. <laughs> I'm talking about the movie. Yeah. I'm saying, like, you, f- this orphan girl clearly was messed up. Definitely. Clearly, Esther had problems. I Definitely. told you it was an older person name. Um, but she... You did tell me that. Yeah. 
you and I both believe more in nurture versus nurture than nature, which means that probably she had a really messed up life before she did this. But now you're 33, so you have to do better. So you hate her. And I'm really glad they made her 33. I didn't think it was a cop out at all because I felt bad for her because she was a child. And then I had zero remorse or bad feelings for her because she's an adult. See, it relieves your... Yes, my guilt. Your feeling. Yep, exactly. And I... But I... But... I, I kind of like, I feel like if this was some independent movie, they would have kept her as a kid. No. Just to, just Why if, if it was like Anna Purina or A24. That's so much just worse. To drive, exactly. To drive home the creepiness of it. And to drive home the, the horrific side. Because it, it, it removes some, it's weird. Like I, I was surprised based on a true story. I'm not surprised based on a true story. I'm saying like, like here there's a true thing that happened. What surprised me about I know you want to say something. What do you want to say? No, I don't. No, no as you did the thing, you, I heard the breath come out, and you put your hand over your mouth, and I was like, she wants to say something. And then, I was just listening. Then to I you. found myself being like, this is rude. I should let her talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, I had gonna, no. I was just <laughs> listening to what you were saying because it's. it's what were you we saying? What was I saying? <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> you were talking about them alleviating us, and if it was a A24 movie, and then you were going into something else about that. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, because, like, okay, the like the, the true story they were saying, I'm like, that sounds like a movie in and of itself, because normally you hear the true story, and it's, and it, and it's dialed back. Like, the true story is usually not as bad. Yeah. And, and, and the true story is veers off in a completely different direction but it's also i could see the foundation being similar enough whereas this they took the horror movie tale that we've heard before like um uh god why it is hard for me to think of some titles right now because sometimes it's not sometimes it's just like orphans orphans or biological kid who's born he's like satan child or something right like what was that movie um that it wasn't superman but it was gone brightburn or something brightburn yeah yeah i mean like it's kind of a it's it's a horror movie trope of like creepy child we have in our home (laughs) you know yeah there you go you figure it out you figured out how to use the internet Uh, i know computer good so um what are we looking up I'm going to look up movies with orphans to help you. No, thanks. Movies with orphans. Yeah, that's literally what I'm <laughs> Movies doing. with orphans. I thought that'd be helpful. <laughs> I mean, you maybe specified a little bit like... No. Like look, horror the turning, movies. Orphan Hugo. kids. Hugo. Hugo's not... Hugo's Annie. Not, a, yeah. You, oh, Shirley Temple Stowaway. I love I, that I, movie. You are just looking up movies with orphans. These are not like horror Oliver, movies. Oliver, Oliver, Oliver. Never typing, before has a boy wanted more. Typing Oliver. creepy horror movie Lion, children. Lion, all mine to give. Typing creepy horror movie children. Okay. Seems like a different thing. Megan. It's not. It's actually way more in tune with what we are actually talking about than looking up random movies with orphans. That's what it. you had said. You said there's a lot of orphans. I, yeah, I'm talking about the trope of of like horror movie children. It's weird that when you wrote this movie, you didn't look this up already. Of course not. <laughs> children Coraline. of the cor- corn. Um, hide and seek. And... Uh, Village of the, the Children. The Exorcist kid reminded me of her, actually. In some ways, yeah. Which I just saw for the first time. There was one with Sam Rockwell, where they have like creepy. I'm, I'm, I'm used to it being like Satan baby stuff. Look, bottom line. Look, uh, the, tr- the, the story. <laughs> Clown has? It's not Clown. Joshua is what it is. Spooky child terrorizes family movie. It's called Joshua. Mm-hmm. Um. Getting so caught up in other things. I'm not getting. I'm listening to you. I was helping make your point. I'm distracted. Oh no! What did you think of the movie? Is Vera Formiga in that one too with Sam Rockwell? Do you want me to go look it up? Oh, I gotta know now. <laughs> Shit, man! What have you What have you done? Oh, Just go okay. to history. Go to the history. I can't see where it says history. Go scroll to the very top. Go to the top bar. Go where it says history. I can't see it. Yeah. Tell oh me no, no! One to the left. Left. One to the left. Yeah. It? There you go. Okay. And then go to Joshua, right there, the very top. The top one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can read those words? Yeah, I can. I have That's glasses crazy. on. Oh. She is in that movie about creepy child. You gotta be kidding me. 
Wow, this, this is her. Is... This is her genre. Okay, she's very good, and Sam Rockwell is very good. Yeah, Maybe I should watch this movie. Yeah, damn, that's that's wild. Oh, I did want to see this little girl that plays. <laughs> what? We will talk about the movie. I want to see the little girl that ways. plays. Short enough. God damn it with this mouse. The little girl that plays. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was this movie called, Megan? <laughs> no, what is this movie? The orphan. 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 Yeah, you're at the heavy. There you go. Orphan. Oh, I thought it was the orphan. It's just orphan. Yeah, it's just orphan. Oh, I made that point at the beginning. And you know, the third me. one's going to call be called the orphan. So who is this actress? She was stellar. I know. It wouldn't be weird to then go see her in some kind of high school like <laughs> CW type show, because I mean she's she's she'd be a kid. Uh, okay, Isabella. Oh, she's like a full blown adult now. This was in two thousand nine. Okay, she was she was in Orphan at the age of ten. Damn, she was ten years old and doing that. She's very good. I thought she was like fourteen, fifteen. Damn, I would like she was to 10? see her and a lot of other things. Um, oh, Hunger Games. She was Clove. Interesting. I don't remember that. That's very impressive. Yeah, very impressive. Very impressive stuff. Very impressive. I don't think we Do you think it was impressive? I think it was impressive. <laughs> I feel like if very there's one thing we could say, very impressive. So you thought impressive. the movie was good? I did. Yeah. Uh, it beca- Like, they took... It was like the structure became insanely predictable, like right away. Once we found For out... you? Like, no, 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 you got it too. Like, once it was like... Rec- okay. Once it was Recovering Alcoholic... And and or or someone who was like uh, who who could go down the, the bottle again, and they're gonna adopt overcoming trauma of the miscarriage. It was like okay, they're gonna adopt the child, and then creepy things are gonna be happening, and then uh, once things are going bad for them, once uh, uh, along the journey of having creepy child, she's gonna pick Depending up the bottle the again. Yep, you pin on the mom. And that then part, yes. very early on, it was like, okay, yeah, then she's going to try to seduce the dad. <laughs> like, that like, I didn't pick like, up on. Like, I never thought she was going to try to seduce the dad. It was going down. So I wasn't sure because it was a uh, it was a Warner Brothers movie that, like, would they do that? I, I thought she like was going to try to get out. rid of the mom because she just didn't want, she just wanted to have the dad. I did not know about the seduction part. That mm-hmm. was like, I just refused to believe it the whole time, despite the evidence. Once I started realizing it was a psychological film and not a supernatural one, because I wasn't sure if it was going to be like supernatural kid horror, because that's usually what they do with the kid ones, is like their kid horror. I'm not kid horror, they're uh, supernatural horrors. And yeah, no, I said the sentence right. <laughs> we, this is the first time we filmed together on a Saturday afternoon, and now, now you're understanding I didn't even why. know it was Saturday. Yo, this is, this is Greg on a Saturday afternoon. Um, so the god damn it, I, I keep losing First my time of supernatural horror. No, I said that right, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> yeah, once I realized that, then, then suddenly some stuff started becoming a little bit um predictable in terms of plot mechanics. But, but I what I loved about it was the attention to detail on the nuances of how, of what was going on with these characters, like having history with what occurred between the parents and between the miscarriage. And and the and, and then the actual adoption and also the gray area too of the grief of the miscarriage like that's not something you often see in movies of mourning the loss of that life you know so you feel like even though it did play on a lot of horror tropes just having yeah. those few twists made it stand out and be unique yeah I mean like structurally it fall if you can write down to the freaking she gets the call at the nick of time yeah, and yeah, the yeah. finale to get the big reveal about who Esther really is like there, there's a lot that they did that felt that way but they like even with the sexuality with the pa- with watching words here but even being a lot of movies will shy away from the sexuality of the parents and 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 uh and when the he took her on the that, counter yeah yeah damn <laughs> took her on the counter <laughs> oh well those are words that you won't get yeah, flagged for yeah it's true uh but no like a scene like that where they actually went um really mature about it and graphic and I'm kind of used to Hollywood putting a gloss over this, where this had a little bit more of a grit that I like to see from a Warner Brothers produced film, if that makes sense. Like a yeah. studio made movie. I mean, it was actually challenging to watch at times because yeah. of that. And yeah. I think that if it hadn't been, then it wouldn't have had the same effect on us and we wouldn't have thought it was as powerful of a movie. It also killed the dad and debatably killed Rightfully the son. So. No, yeah, I know he's alive. Well, we don't know. He was alive. They said he was alive. They said to him, he, the dad said to the mom. Do you have a glitter or snot? 
Really? Snot? Yeah, they're sad. They have something on your nose. Is it the cracker I gave you earlier? <laughs> How long has it been there? I don't know. I, can't, I don't think it's, you can see it on camera. <laughs> is it glitter or snot? It's definitely gone now. I don't know what it was. Oh. It's like a white spot. I see it. Is it a cracker? It looks like paint. Why would you have paint on your head? I don't know. Oh. But that is what it looks like, right? They gave Roxy a cracker earlier. <laughs> Polly want a cracker? Touchy. Wait, let's see if they can see. Yeah, does it look Can like it? I thought it was a snot spot? I was like, oh man, maybe I should have told her about if this. I had <laughs> had she... <laughs> I imagine that her all time. I was just like, don't say anything, you'll embarrass her if you say something. Oh, yeah. you knew it was there the whole time? No, I didn't <laughs> until right now. <laughs> should I put it back on my nose? Like, what yeah, do yeah, I do with yeah. this paint? Um, huh, interesting. I don't know how I got there. No, me neither. I hope it was there from the very beginning and people were questioning it. Yeah, and that they didn't make it through to the end of the video. And they like, can't watch because this freaking snot, snot was on this girl's face the whole time. Huh, okay. Every time we cropped it on her. Um. Good, anyway, good, uh, good yeah. Good job with the movie. So uh, look, we got we got. I think I think we get eight more minutes in here, and then we're good to go. So uh, Roxy, <laughs> get some opinions. <laughs> Uh, okay. Think that the acting was like essential in this movie to make it good. Oh, we were just talking about the son. I don't know. I don't feel confident the son lived because yeah. remember when the dad came into the room and said uh -huh. to her, he's going to be fine. Don't worry. Right. I didn't know whether he's just appeasing her because she's in the hospital. Because what we know is that they said he, if we don't go in there, he'll go into cardiac arrest. And then they said that he was stable for a second. But yeah, we, they got a pulse. They had a pulse. His neck was broken. They said before that that they didn't even know if he was going to be able to ever answer the questions. I mean, so it depends what you mean by like, like he might be in a vegetative state. So that just God, uh, the I reason my mind was dark. The reason I'm saying it is because this movie was willing to kill one of its major characters and highly injure, if not kill the other, along with injure another child. Like it really did go there with the injuries and the death. And uh, that's why at the end with Vera Farmiga's character and with and they killed the orphan, too. That's why I so, thought it was so bold too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You because know? You, we don't know, and so the the stakes are high because you don't know who's gonna die. I wouldn't have been surprised if at the end the little girl died. Yeah. You know, because it's like yeah. this movie was willing to. So genuinely, when the little girl's out on the ice and Vera Farmiga is saying "Go back, go back," I'm like, "Oh my God, are they about to kill off this the youngest child?" And I I I really like that about the movie because. While I was, I wasn't as, con I was convinced that like Esther's not, I actually no, you know what? I'm not sure. There was like only, it was only until like moments before Esther finally descends to the ice where I was like, okay, Esther's going to lose. It was only like a few moments before. We don't even but know for, that Esther dies though. That's true. Uh, a sequel She'd be opening, an ice creature. Uh, which I could totally believe. And I think that for most of the movie, I was here going, you know what? Esther could Esther could walk out on top. Yeah, and everybody Esther else could, could die. Yeah, Esther could totally win. Uh, like, I felt like it became the most movie in the last 15... It was after the... <laughs> may the Lord Jesus bless you. Uh, it, it, was, it was after the reveal of 33-year-old Esther when... When it started feeling the most like I'm watching a movie now. Yeah, I get that. Where, well, there was a couple lines that I was like, ah... The movie wrote a, 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 a good line of, it always felt like a movie. That's why I always found it like fun because it was doing this thing where it was feeling like, okay, yeah, it's psychological trauma. We're dealing with real diseases and real types of manipulation forms. And okay, we're exploring how children can also be little sociopaths and the anxieties of grief. They were doing all these qualities that were, that were thrusted onto the performances and then all the stuff about the affairs and trying to amend a relationship and how to be a parent and the and the consequences that came from not taking care of yourself. Like they were doing all these things that I thought helped make it feel more rich and alive. And that people can than, lie to their therapists and trick them. Exactly. <laughs> like, because normally these movies are like a 90 minute and just 90 minutes of just kids standing around creepily and, and, and long drawn out shots that they sell as tension with some slick, cool visuals is usually what these movies are. And I felt like what they did was they, they did a great job on selling you on the family drama, the wonder of when they're first adopting, even like 
making Esther an appealing child to adopt. Like out of the yeah. kids, you're like, damn, I would want the smart one. Why wouldn't you want the smart one? That was interesting from Jump that she stayed upstairs though and didn't come down to the party and that he just stumbled upon them because it's like that's pure luck. I mean, she lured him. Kind of. She 100 percent lured. She, she was watching from the because outside. Because he was going and, to the bathroom, though. Like, and she pl- she was planning it. Yeah, like, she was. But he, the fact that he did that, it was lucky that she he wanted to go inside and go to the bathroom. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of what Esther does is like based off of like luck. She's like the, time, the final yeah. destination death character. Maybe that's why know? we liked it. So that's much. why we liked it because this girl plays the domino effect. I got to tell you, this makes me feel really powerful. What? That maybe. I love this thing. This movie yeah. feel buckled in, and like I could tell you anything Google had to offer. That's it's it's bought to, and it's meant to be there, not attached to this thing in front of us that the audience can't see. Really? Yeah, it's meant to be attached to that. Oh, pieces. yeah. Well, I like it here because I feel like I could tell you all about the orphan. I could tell you up, down, center. Yeah, you look also really comfortable. You don't look trapped. You don't look like a child. I don't feel a, trapped. You don't, I feel you don't look giddy. like a child in a booster seat. You know, Dude, I look the same age as Esther. You don't why? look like a super villain who's locked in some type of weird cage right now. <laughs> yeah. it's, Esther's actually my uh, best friend. Uh, do you like uh, Peter Sarsgaard? I did like him. I thought he was a really good counter to Vera Farmiga, although frustrating at times. Like, oh, how could you not see this? I kind of understood. You know, he adopted a child and his wife has a history of these things. So it's he, he has reason to doubt. I thought he did a really good job in this. I thought the kids were really impressive, too. Like, oftentimes, I think that the child actors just bring you out, especially when we're dealing with people of the caliber of, like, Vera Farmiga. Um, Again, I know that she was only in a small part, but Margot Martindale. Like, when we're dealing with these Oscar, Emmy-winning, worthy people, to have the kids be, I'm super invested in them and their performances, is even the... Max, I thought she was so good, but all three of the kids, really, really good job. Well, usually, in, usually in these films, like it's one parent, even if it's like there's a haunting in the house that, or something, that like the dad, it's haunting either the, of Hill House. No, no, not that. That's like way too good. That's way too deep and amazing. Uh, I'm talking about <laughs> more of the cliche ones, like there's one with like Katie Holmes, I believe. Um, there. That's like either the dad, it's Katie Holmes and Guy Pierce. What the hell is that movie called? And there's, and there's, uh, it's the trope usually goes, it's either the, the, they think the dad's crazy, but he's not, or they think the mom's crazy and she's not. So this movie went with the path of, oh, they think the mom's crazy, but she's not. And for a move, and the reason why it became frustrating for me with the dad was because the movie was doing such a good job at having conversations and a new, that's what it's called, don't be afraid of the dark. The movie was doing such a good job at having conversations and nuances and further debates about stuff, like the way they fleshed out stuff, like, okay, we're doing the trope of like, uh, everyone thinks the mom's crazy, but we as the audience, no, she's not crazy. But the way they were going about it with exploring it in the dialogue, I was like, it makes a lot of sense why they think the mom's like, crazy yeah because of what happened the last time because of yeah. the finding the bottle and because of her in the therapy sessions they did a good job with that what i wasn't finding believable with the dad was i, I, like, I would get to a, i think i think it reached a certain point there was a it was a whole point where i was 100 percent feeling exactly what you were saying and maybe it was like at i don't know somewhere around like the 80 minute mark i suppose like when they're in the ICU with their son, the freaking tree house is on fire and they're learning this information about, look, I was looking into her past and we can't find this thing. You, you, I feel like the dad at a certain point had to be like, maybe there is something up with this Esther child. Even if he just believes it's a child, maybe there's something up with this child. And you do have to start to wonder, like, I think there had to have been a little bit of a gray area with the dad of him going She's not my child. Like, we did just adopt her, you know? One of the things that I was curious about, because they made that choice where the treehouse is burning, that they had the mom, his mom, be there for that. Sure. Uh, So I was like, huh, that's interesting, because if his mom hadn't been there, I thought maybe he would believe that Vera Farmiga's character actually on accident started the fire. Right. And that would be reason to, once again, not pin this on Esther. Exactly. But when she says, your mom was there this time... I was like, oh, yeah, so really what is his excuse this time yeah. finally to be like, it's still not Esther? Because when she says it was either Esther or Daniel, 
Like exactly. And he's and she says, which one was it? He said, I don't know. But at the same time, it is a child that you're dealing with, and she Vera Farmiga's character is almost too quick to pin it on her. So it was both extremes. That's fair. That's fair. I I mean overall, I think the I mean like the acting helps save so much of it. I love the use of environments, the way they utilize like the house, the playgrounds. Um, the overall setting of uh, that you understood the distance of everywhere they were at, like they they the way they played. What I really liked is like they fleshed out a lot of familiarity in a way that was really impressive to me. It's the, mm-hmm. like the bottom line of it with um, with and, and it felt more adult and mature when I think a lot of times they would try to make this more PG-13. And, and I, I appreciate the way they didn't shy away from like the violence hits. It was R rated, right? Oh, a thousand yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. Man. There's no way you go away with like half of the. Like, they said the that F-bomb. That's true. The sexuality and the uh, and, and the violence, it really hits. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And I appreciated the the maturity of that because even for a lot of R-rated horror movies from studio films, they it'll still feel like glossy. I like, appreciate yeah. the maturity of us. We're very mature. We're very, very mature. Very mature. So it's just like when we talked about your snot cracker. Yeah. Well, I, I have a keyboard because I'm mature. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. What I do? What have you done? I don't know. Ah! All righty. Well, is there a, okay? One last thing to look up. I promise. Um, can you just look up uh, Jamie Colette Sarah? Uh, like, I want to know if he directed that shark movie. What shark movie? Yeah, right there. You just go You're down not one. talking about Forty Seven Meters Down, are you? No, no, no. I'm talking about The Shallows. Yeah, oh. right there, The Shallows. Mm. Yeah, the Shallows. That's, I never a, that's, saw a, it. that's a good movie. You no. haven't seen it? No. Oh, that's good. I like Blake Lively. Ooh, I wonder if Tara's seen it. That'd be a good one to put you on for. In the sh- shallow. If we have recommendations for it, of In course. In the sh- shallow. You haven't seen that one? It's really good. No, and I like her. She doesn't have a good Boston accent, but I do like her. I thought you were going to say body. And I was like, wow. Why would I say that? Because you said, does it have a good ba? And then it's I, an accent. And then my the time froze for, for me. <laughs> and I didn't let you. She doesn't have a good body. Well, and then you said bond. And that would be the most bitter the statement. The, the flash right there. And they're like, As what is she about at- to say? <laughs> <laughs> they're like 10 body, perfect, perfect. All bodies are perfect, Greg. I would never. Uh, yeah. But what if someone looks 12 when they're really 33? Is that a perfect body? Then I body? wouldn't be attracted to them because I think that that's weird. But I do feel that's bad just- for them. They deserve love. But I just could never be attracted. No matter what their mind was, if you look 12, I'm not attracted to you. Like Lucy Hale. Uh, do you know who note, Lucy Hale is? I know who Lucy Hale is. I do. I want you to look at her and you tell me that you think she looks 12. If you were to tell me she's playing a 12-year-old, I would be like, I see it. Like, what are you talking about? Okay. I mean, yeah, she's, she's cool. She's like a full-blown adult. I know. She's really famous. <laughs> She's really famous for a 12 year old. I mean, she doesn't look 12 there. She doesn't look 12 anywhere. No, 12 year olds are dressed like that. God. What? That's very inappropriate for a 12 year old to dress like that. In what way does she look 12? <laughs> okay. Craig, get us out of here. All right, guys. Well, how old do you think Lucy Hale looks, audience? Leave your thoughts down below. Is Orphan First Kill worth watching? Would you adopt? If you started adopting, and then they started doing shit like this. Would you kick them to the curb? Would you try to get a refund? Leave your thoughts down below. Guys, I'm Roxy Stryer. I'm Greg Alba. And we are the Real, Real Rejects. Rejects. <laughs> Peace out.